we're focusing the the topic uh, type template approach for this the theory i'm focusing here is an uh, eisenstein's personality theory um before going to the the type template approach the eisenstein theory just i'm going to recollect the, the previous things what we discussed in the last classes in the case of the type approach when we want to divide the people uh, of the sanjay as well as the shweta based on the facial expressions we may uh, keep some kind of unique name in this i already mentioned that the type approach uh, is like uh, um, we can give this some kind of unique name based on the the facial expression based on the body types therefore some of the psychologists they strongly believe that there is a association between the um, body language or the um, body type with the temperament so in this case of this shweta and sanjay um uh, based on the type of which we may come to the conclusion that they are choleric and mesomorphic in the case of this vaita she may be melancholic so this you already knows uh, based on the type of approach uh, but in the case of the trait approach we may uh, treat these two people not in the uh, some kind of unique category here the trait approach is talking about the the two different the two extreme level of the people's traits so uh, you already know that the traits have the bipolar qualities and um, bipolar means there is a positive and there is a uh, negative end. so it's like a, a polar based um, so, so far in the case of the extraversion if it what is the opposite in this can they may call it an introversion because which are the qualities uh, if the extraversion it is not there listen that people is called as a low extraversion or a introversion there is a terms you know therefore we can find any people states into two different end one is a positive end other one is a negative end the same approach only the right also uh, attempted for this uh, we may call the sanjay as well as the swetha into different uh, traits he may be aggressive sanjay may be aggressive he may be hot tempered he may be undisciplined this are the characteristics this are the traits for him in the case of the swetha uh, you know uh, she is uh, always a crying nature um, and uh, uh, she is not able to adopt uh, uh, any kind of problems and also some kind of traits it look like it showing from her based on these uh, facial reactions yes but now i am concentrating the the, the two uh, the theory uh, that is called uh, hans eisner's theory what he did in the sense he blending the two theories and the type theory as well as the type approach so that theory is to, um, means what in the sense just i'm going to see uh, you can see from this image there is a combination of type plus trait is called as a type template approach so it's nothing but they blending the type and trait approach in this is the type and trait approach the eisner theory is talking about the, the that both the approaches only but together they are not discussing separate way they are not discussing types separately they are not discuss it is not discussing the trait differently he discussing the entire things together type and trait uh, things therefore this theory is come to the type come trait approach uh, before going to deeply about the the eisner theory just i am going to highlight his brief bibliography um he was born in the 4th march 1916 Uh, and he was died in the year uh, 4th september uh, 1997 the age of uh, 81 and he is a citizen chief of british is a nationality is german and he field is psychology because he did a wonderful contribution in the case of the psychology and uh, psychology based even we are a uh, lot of educationist psychology they adopting uh, uh, some of the great uh, theories from his end so it's a great uh, things and uh, the institution he belongs to institute of Psych- uh, psychiatry and he is the alma mater of the university of college london and his known contributions so he did a tremendous contribution in the entire education sector particularly the psychology area so which are the area he touch in the case of the psychology in the sense intelligence personality uh, uh, and he given a special questionnaire to check the people's personality in the name of isnec personality inventory so we may call it a epq the some short term name also there then differential psychology psychiatry behavior theory these are the main contribution he attempted and uh, just i'm going to brief his other contributions in 1952 isnes wrote a paper on the effect of psychotherapy he wrote a book the name of psychotherapy uh, there uh, he highlighted lot of uh, things related to the uh, personality uh, and uh, other kind of therapy therapy, therapy based also and uh, he was the first psychologist to make this traits or temperament uh, into business 
business field uh, something more mathematical actually uh, none of the people is not integrating how the traits of the people how the traits of the people the trait or the behavior of the people may help you for the business field. no one can did that attempt but he did the attempt in the business field also and uh, he gave a long list of adjective uh, to hundreds of thousands of people and used his special statistics i already mentioned in the last uh, uh class also we discussed in the case of the 16 pf personality factor theory there also he used the factor analysis the same mechanism he is also using uh, he collected more than uh, hundreds of thousands of people uh, some vocabularies uh, particularly the adjective from this he did a factor analysis finally uh, he make it a six, some kind of three factorial approach three factor approach that i am going to discuss in the later and he took the result of this work and created uh, a test is called the iceland personality inventory that's why i use the term epq so the iceland personality questionnaire uh, we may call as a epq in the short form even if you google it as a epq you can find out the his questions there and just i'm moving to the uh, his theory part um the his theory part what he emphasized in the this is a image from this you can understand his uh, 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 hierarchical approach how he is dealing the, the personality of the people in the hierarchical uh, order in the case of the, this kind of image you can you can cross from the maslow hierarchy needs but it's it's not directly linked with the maslow hierarchy needs it's somewhat different from the maslow but the same person normally knows the the hierarchical order so we can start from the low and up so we can go like this okay so this is an order only so we can go from uh, low to high so this is the order so this here directions to reach the type level see this case why is called type complete approach this best example see the case is using the type level as here highest order then the trait level therefore there is a competition happen with the two approaches the trait level as well as the type level therefore is called as the type come trait approach i hope you understand so how we can find the people's Uh, personality and how we can classify the people personality based on the type and the sense we have to look on to the this much of steps the first step specific response level for example if i want to um, find any people personality i have to observe them properly so for example i want to observe some students jay they for example i have to mingle with him uh, knowingly or unknowingly i can observe him in kind some kind of specific situation <laughs> once you come to the department one day i can know that who is uh, jay dev who is sangeet mitra who is gayatri like that i can able to relate to your positive delays your negative and all but nowadays it's not possible because we are sitting in different places uh, we are not able to connect with each other in a face to face that is why it's not possible but if you come to the department we have some kind of specific uh, event uh from this i can understand uh, some of the unique uh, traits or unique characters of your or unique behavior of your so these are the behavior we can find only in some specific situation it not be uh, seen regularly these things so that specific responses what it happened finally in your case it may form a see a habit response for example uh, uh, myself i am just i'm telling the example i am very nervous very nervous when i see the mass period and um, mass audience therefore the specific response is in a nervous okay so it famous a habitual response so whenever i meet any kind of big audience or whenever i am facing any kind of viva open uh, uh, any kind of discussion i have some kind of uh, stress that stress may leads me uh, some kind of nervous issues and all so what it happen there is a relationship between specific response and habitual because your specific re- response only it may convert as say your habitual uh, character so because without the sometimes you are very bold in the sense habitually you may be bold because your specific sm- small small responses of the day to day life that leads to your habit so that is called second stage after the habitual frame it keep some kind of traits so suppose someone is asking about who is tiago some people may say they have different opinion that opinion is called trait so how they tell my uh, behavior in the sense or opinion about me they already observe me in some specific responses they can understand what is my habit from this they are perceiving the exact trait of me so some people they telling that uh, he is somewhat okay he is extrovert or he may introvert like that they may give some kind of uh unique name so introversion or extraversion they given as my trait or they mean tell that he is a very short temper that also some kind of trait so 
if it the trait as a short temper or introvert introversion or extroversion so based on the trait we can come for conclusion about the one person's personality into the type approach into the type name so like we already know there are lot of names like introvert extrovert so in this case introvert <coughs> and extrovert is a type introversion and extroversion is a trait i hope you understand the difference introvert and extrovert is a ca- like a category and uh, which are the characters or which are the uh, things you found from the the characteristics of the introvert and extrovert that is called the trait of the people so normally we use the term introversion extraversion introversion and extraversion is talking about the trait introvert and extrovert is talking about the type i hope you understand the difference between the two and see this case i move to the the next example then you can understand the the exact hierarchical order of the trait uh, type come trait approach this is specific uh, habitual sure response so in this case the lowest order see here this is the lowest this is a static so normally the grow out of the particular response in a single act so for each single act we are showing some kind of special uh, face reaction or some kind of special uh, behavior we need to show to the people so this special as uh, some single act it forms some kind of habit uh, habit you were uh, a uh, uh, habit of yours for so something we cannot know what is your exact habit other people can understand what is your habit and not because from our end we cannot do any kind of swat analysis that's why we could not know what is exactly what we have the habit but other people they can easy to find out what is your habit and not because we are showing some kind of unique things in this one specific situation so after the lowest level they are going to the second level that is called similar responses of the individual so if you are showing the similar responses regularly in some aspects that is uh, the people's may observing that is may keep it as a habit then after the second level uh, the third level of the personality how the people are finding the sense that is called trait approach so based on the the habit the people fix some kind of grouping characteristics so i have some kind of special uh, responses for each situation from the people may think that he may be introversion or extraversion or he uh, they may think that he is very uh, dishonest person like they come for any kind of conclusion about me in the trait aspects so that is called group of habit acts into a trait so this habit may convert as a trait then finally the the trait uh, things it may convert as a type so like i can some people may come to the conclusion that he is having the good uh, lot of introversion characteristics therefore he may treat it as a introvert like they may come for conclusion about my personality there is a four order the first order is specific the second order is a habit uh, the third level is a trait the fourth level is a uh, type approach uh, type therefore it's called as type come trait because there is a combination between the type and trait it happen in this aspects and one more thing uh, uh, in this three terms are important one is called type so this there is talking about the type then uh, then trait so then trait then habit so see this case uh, we can use the term http so http so it comes like this first is a habit the two things is talking about the habit only but this in specific habit uh, then specific habit may convert as a our habit our own habit these two things may replicate in the traits as a t then finally the traits may uh, find some kind of unique name of our character in the name of the uh, types okay that is called type just i move to the another example then you can get some kind of uh, understanding about the extra uh, this thing see this is an example the same level i am keeping like this suppose one person in some specific um, um, incident he showing his reserve characteristics and blessing characteristics to me so i am observing they for example so in some or two times i may observe that he is very pleasing as well he is very reserved so finally i may feel that what is the habit in the sense because i am regularly watching him from this i can come for some kind of small conclusion or opinion about him about his habit that uh, his inability to easily strike friendship is uh, not having the the broad band to create a lot of friendships then his hesitancy in taking the stranger so some people they won't talk uh, in these changes on top some people they voluntarily go and speak these changes but i feel that he is not having Uh, he is not having the open mindness to talk to anyone so he is having some kind of assistance so this habit things no finally it leads to the his traits as a sinus because he is having the trait sinus 
due to that only this kind of issues we feel then this trait uh, where possible for whom is possible in the sense those who are having the introvert actually this is called introversion so introvert uh, in the case of the introversion qualities you know so the introversions they are not having open mindedness they don't have any kind of um, uh, what is it they are very shy they won't mingle to others this are some of the traits so these traits the final combine is a type as a introvert so the term is a introvert um so this is the things i highlight here this is an one example i hope now you are understand the similar example i am going to highlight here as a example of extrovert suppose i am finding some other people like gayatri and just for example uh, or sana or sangamitra like this lot of people are there in our class suppose i am observing them in regular interval from this i can understand that they are kind and affection people regularly i am observing from this uh, i can check their specific responses how they are interact with each other and all so this same characteristics only it form the habit for them um, that is called able to create a friendship and willing to uh, talk to the strangers they are open some people are very open to talk to any people so that kind of broad mind they have then finally this habit no it leads to see traits what is a friend the trait for them it is called friendliness so they are very accessible they are very easy to meet to each one that kind of friendliness characteristics may develop for them that traits leads a on unique name in the case of the, the type of coach uh, for them we can treat it as a extrovert in the name of extroversion okay so the extroversions having some unique characteristics this is the main characteristic is friendliness so in this manner we can come for conclusion about the any person personality based on the trait as with the type therefore it's called type term trait approach because he is blending the two things type as well as the trait therefore his theory is made treated as a type common trait the uh, uh, the type common trait approach so it may be is some specific uh, situation he showcase this uh, things like affection or kind because of the kind as of the honest only he showcase this kind of uh, good behavior in this particular game so it may his habit so it is what is the habit so he is uh, open mindedly asking the friendship and he is not um, he is very much honest that is why this kind of things though we can find that he is very honest then he, the traits is called trustworthy or the truthfulness that is the trait from this we can come for conclusion that he may be extrovert <coughs> uh, he is very open minded um, then we can find the specific uh, type based the names for it so this is uh exactly is called type term type approach I, i hope you understand the meaning from this just i am going to the the another example see uh, the type level they put the name as introversion okay or introvert in the case of the uh, specific responses see the case of specific responses lot of specific responses the people may show so lot of specific responses are there for example i am observing one person more than one month so each day they are showing some kind of specific responses so this is for the 30 days the specific responses from this they have some kind of unique habit due to that only the specific response or this specific response may lead some kind of habit response like see here for each specific response may come with some unique habitual response then the four habitual response is form one kind of trait that is called persistence this four habitual response is called rigidity this is uh, four is come to this uh, subject to be this four is called as a sinus this four is called ir- uh, so irritability see this case of the trait persistency rigidity subjectivity sinus and irritability all the things is is a negative terms in the uh, compared to the extraversion therefore we me feel when you face this kind of people in the trait level we can understand this kind of trait they have therefore finally we can come for conclusion about this person personality in the type approach he may is here introvert or introversion so this is called um, uh, the type come type approach so he mentioned the type come type approach into a hierarchy order in the hierarchy scale like a maslow hierarchy scale similarly i am going to the other example for example there is a specific responses in down so i am not point out the specific responses only i put the, the color different color these two specific responses called as an express of needs uh, it's combined as a habitual response then this is called con- considerate of others feeling so he is always smiling behavior of this two characteristic this two green is represent uh, shakes everyone's and hand so it means very flexible then uh, the persons may be very uh, happy to participate in the party is under these two characteristics the energetic in everything so this is a unique uh, habitual response 
all the this amplitude response make it as ai is an assertive these two things is make it as sociable these two things is company say active so then finally all the three traits uh, it lies on the the extrovert capacity in the name of extroversion like that we can comfort and question about the, the persons so this is called extroversion yes so this is um, why the uh, like this it frame a very unique uh, theory that type come type approach there is one more incident uh, it may uh, understand this postmanship as well as there is some kind of uh, 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 fun sense also it is involved so please kindly read uh, it it, uh, it came in the paper in uh, 2019 in the uh, in the day 28 that's why i put the as a screenshot um so there is a incident happened in one match for that uh so so the actor he is posted something for that our uh, viewer thinks he is responded so that things i will focus here see what it happened in this incident in the sense just i am going to read that then you can understand this things. actually the true story uh, yuvraj has revealed what actor tells the batsman after telling it so the uh, incident happened uh, in the 19 uh, 2019 there is a match as a uh, um happened in on uh, in the country just i'm going to read this one for when india all round the yuvraj singh on monday remained at soik alter how he would warn the batsmen by checking on them after nasty bounces uh, following the ex pakistan faces it is some of uh, jofar uh, arthur contact uh, in the analysis so there is a bowler in the pakistan so what he did he um, no what is that he you know um, uh he throw the balls to the uh he bowl the um, ball so that one bouncer it make it the batsman but the bowler he is not having any kind of uh, courtesy to the batsman just he leave the uh, things without seeing him he just he can turn back and he do the things so he is not uh, giving any kind of uh, courtesy uh, once the batsmen are affected by his bounces so that is the incident so the same thing it's that actor on sunday slammed a archer for uh, not showing the basic courtesy uh, of checking the smith there is a batsman smith after the australian went felled by his bouncer during the uh, second assist test in the assist test no so that uh, archer is bowled the ball for the smith that ball is hit by the yeah, hit uh, to the smith then immediately he fall down but the bowler is not uh, fed up anything he is not giving any single courtesy Uh, and he is not asking the sorry also so like this there is incident for this uh, he tutored that our uh, actor tutor like this bounces are the important posture of the game but whenever a bowler hits the batsman on the head and he falls courtesy request so better uh, the courtesy should be and check on him it was not nice of the archer to just walk away with a smile was in the pain i was always the first one to run and to the batsman so he tutor like this so it is the incident uh, sorry the behavior which shown to the arc which shown uh, arc to the smith is not be fair like this he criticized he put the tutor also he won also then finally the yuvraj gave the respond uh, of the uh, actor tweeted yuvraj wrote that yes you did so that is very powerful uh, yes you did so normally you may give the uh, uh, what is that you may ask the sorry for them but the exact word what you are going to spell to the batsman in the sense your actual words were hope you are all right so the actor may tell to the batsman that hope you are all right mat so be ready because there are other few more bounce may comes be ready to face like this he may give some kind of uh, what what is that making as a comic sense is chats that respond as a tweeted by the yuvraj singh it's a viral that time so what it happened uh, in this case uh, even the actors you know the bowl, uh, bowling style and all this is very assertive um, very aggressive while bowl the um, <coughs> bowl the uh, bowling but once any persons are affected immediately he come and near to the person and ask the sorry and he is asking about his health and all but other people is not doing that is why he put tweeted and for this the yuvraj give the some kind of fun based respond that is good move in the case of the Uh, sports and all so this is uh, the viral uh, on the day so this is an eisner theory the second space of the eisner theory i am going to highlight here so we all i already highlight that the eisner theory is based on the hierarchy chemistry but fairly the eisner theory is the extension he made the the entire 
the approach is into the three factor theory like uh, uh, we are talk- talking about wosen approach at big um, uh, big five model you know the same manner he is going with uh, the two three factor theory in a straight manner the name this is called the introversion and extraversion this may the name may be a type but the characteristic because here we are talking about the traits only so this is separate type for there is a level this left hand is called introversion the right hand is called extraversion but in this there is a some kind of level of habit is there so this is called trait so this is called type the similarly the stability of emotion if you are not having the emotion stability there follows neuroticism if you are having the control of your psychoticism is called self control people if you are not having there called the psychoticism like that he um divide the, the entire uh, people's personality into the three factors that factor having the two end one is called introversion and extraversion the neuroticism is called stability then other two is called uh, psychoticism but generally he can use the term as introvert extrovert neuroticism the neuroticism having the two end emotion stability emotion instability psychoticism having the two end impulse control and psychotic but generally you can highlight this one but for each names he coined there is a two different names are the, that also you have to look at uh this is the same things only the aesthetic argue that, that these traits are the determined by heredity and he strongly believe that our personality is determined by the uh, our heredity only not for the environment the environment play a small role in the case of the personality he strongly believe this uh, just i am going to the uh, the examples one by one so this is called the extraversions uh, characteristics based on the uh, this is called habitual this is called the trait this is called type so they leave the the specific responses the similar the neuroticism is a name type these are the traits and uh, this is for the habit so that's why we use the term h uh, t uh, t so h represent habit t represent trait the t represent type so in this manner all the things he made so the psychoticism type so who is a psychoticism person they have show this kind of characteristics so this is called traits this is called as a habit the same thing uh, but i already mentioned that uh, he put the name as a extraversion then neuroticism and psychoticism but the three unique name having the two different names uh, one is high level low level extraversion in the case of the low level extraversion they called as a introvert in the case of the high level extraversion they called as a uh, extraversion in the case of neuroticism those are having the high they are cause emotional instability and uh, those are having the low level of neuroticism they have the emotional stable similarly the psychoticism though having the high quality high uh, psychoticism they have such some kind of psychological they don't have impulse control and all in the case of the low uh, psychoticism they people they are very good or may they have the control uh, uh, about the feelings and all the so same thing this is a flow chart and this want a mind map from this you can understand the exact what is isnac personality uh the isnac personality is a large determined by genes is more or less stable uh, is hierarchically organized so this is the things only we discuss this is like a mind map so it's consisting of actually his theory is consist of three things type traits habit this also i focus there and what are the factors he is involved in the sense one is the super traits is nothing but psychotrist uh, introvert extrovert the neuroticism so he believe that the environmental factor have a very little role only the genes having the large determined people's personality so he used the factor analysis could be reduced down to the two polar dimension so this is also i had discussed here this is a one single image uh, from the single image you can understand the exact meaning of the isnac personality that's why people here these are some of the characteristics of the uh, high extraversion the low introversion uh, low extraversion the low extraversion is called introvert that's only the thing so here i can list out the the high extraversion people characteristics like outgoing social lively and friendly in the case of the low extraversions i'm keeping some kind of characteristics like shy passive and withdrawn similarly the neuroticisms uh, i'm list out the some kind of high neuroticism as well as the no low neuroticisms in the high neuroticism it means that they are emotionally not stable they have the anxious tense worried depressed and moody type in the case of low neuroticism they are emotionally stable people like emotionally mature people the sense of well-being freedom from upsets emotionally stable and easy going this is the characteristic part then finally the psychoticism uh, this is called tender mindedness is talking suppose the high psychoticism they have the uh, the problem of to not control the impulsive behavior egocentric impulsive and not confirming suspicious something antisocial 
but in the case of the low psychotic they are good people they are tender minded they have the open mindedness they have the characteristic warm caring cooperative and conforming to the social norms so this is uh, things come to psychotism and uh, i am going to extend uh, some more dimension also some more dimension about this theory because the eisnick theory now i am combined with uh, there is a theory called uh, I, you already uh, crossed the theory uh, in the type approach uh, what is the uh, theory the theory is talking about melancholic chloric phlegmatic and sanguine any can tell uh, where you can find out these four names where you found which theory is talking about the four names anyone can i can talk to sorry Galen theory. Sir. Sorry, Prakna, your voice is not clear. Galen theory. Yeah, Galen, Galen theory. theory sir. Yeah, exactly. Thank, thank, Shankar Mitran Prakna. So it's called Galen theory. Now I am going to combine this Galen theory with Eisenach theory. So we already know that uh, Eisenach he made the three factors, but here I am taking only the two factors only. One is called introvert, extrovert. Uh, then other factor I am taking as say uh, neuroticisms like uh, emotional stable and. Uh, emotion not stable so the two factor based i am dividing the two factor based into four kinds of people see this example uh this is called emotion stable uh emotion unstable they are called emotion stable like the, the two classifications uh, as a vertical in the case of the horizontal there is a two classification introvert extrovert see uh now if you are dividing the the entire circle into four quadrant i am dividing the four quadrant so the yellow color people they are called as chloric so what is the characteristic they are extroverted but they are emotionally unstable so this is the characteristic for the those who are extroverted barely they have the emotionally unstable they are called as a chloric they have the this kind of characteristic such as responsive aggressive excitable changeable impulsive optimistic active in the case of the introvert people but they are not uh, stable so they it means they are unstable these people they are called as a melancholic so that people catastrophic moody anxious rigid so far pessimistic reserved and social and quiet and some people they are introvert but they have the emotionally stable catastrophic emotionally stable it means they uh, they are not neuroticism issues they having the catastrophics like passive careful thoughtful peaceful controlled reliable even temper and calm they come under the name of phlegmatic in the case of the balance see the another group of people may lies with the two catastrophic one is called they may be extroverted Apparently, they have to control the emotion. That's called emotionally stable people. Therefore, the emotionally stable people with the extrovert characteristics, they are called as sanguine. That's you know, they those who are having the uh, smiley face, and as the open mindedness, they have this kind of characteristic like sociable, outgoing, talkative, responsive, easy going, lively, and carefree. See, this is a trait. So these are things is trait. these traits is meant for uh, if you combine into a trait uh, type of which like melancholic chloric intellect and so on therefore the eisnick uh, the three factor theory uh, from this we can take it consists only the two factor in the two factor if you combine the two factor for example two cross two you know that uh, introvert extrovert is a two 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 in the case of the emotional maturity emotional stable emotional mature, unstable that also two therefore two into two you are getting the four therefore four dimensions are available this four dimensions called melancholic chloric phlegmatic and sanguine this is the same approach only the balance talked in the theory the name of uh, type approach similarly see here there is the same thing i am put as here some kind of word representation this for image representation i hope you understand these things uh, so where we can uh, use this kind of theory in what way this theory may give the contribution to the people like us in what way it may helping for in the sense it may help into the criminal department to understand the people's uh, psychologists or personality so even the criminology they can understand who uh, did the uh, the uh, crime who attempted the crime from this behavior they can use it to understand even for education purpose as a education faculty member we can uh, know the students level what level of personality why he is not mingled with the teachers why he is uh, talkative like that we can come for any conclusion about person on person personality from this theory and sometimes even for genetics uh, doing the research in genetics field for this theory may helping them then psychopathology and even for some kind of political ideology uh, field also this kind of things may helping for them particularly in the case of the political on uh, the extraversion people are more at in the case of the political if you are introvert you cannot survive in the case of the political uh, uh, political field therefore this kind of theories may helping for the all the fields that's why i am distorted here 
uh, i'm coming to the, the last slide um, thank you and jay bard i hope uh, now you are understand what is exactly the icenex talk about the personality uh, the icenex uh, theories may lies on the uh, approach is a type come trait approach because he is combined the, the two approaches and he attempt the uh, two approaches in a single uh, mode and uh, uh, he started uh, he uh, what is the categorize the people's uh, factors into four or three based on the hierarchy order that also we discussed so thank you all